Hey guys, Garrett here, and today I want to give you the exact cost of my solar array. That's going to include all of the components as well as the permits and the installation and everything that I have into it. And just a reminder, I put this on my brand new house. I have a bunch of videos kind of outlining how I built that house if you want to watch any of those after this. It's a 5 kilowatt system consisting of 18 panels as well as in-phase microinverters. So let's get right to it. The first thing were the panels. And like I said, I bought 18 of them. It was actually just a full pallet. And something to note, whenever I was building my house, I wasn't actually planning to put solar panels up. It was somewhat of an afterthought. Just really wasn't in the budget. But this deal on this pallet of panels came up and I thought, man, I could probably do this pretty darn cheap. I ended up finding these panels on Craigslist and it was a guy down in Oklahoma that was in charge of what was going to be a solar field. Ended up going bankrupt, but they had already bought a bunch of the parts for it, including the panels. So he was just selling pallets of panels off at that point. So I went in with my neighbor and one of his friends and we bought six pallets of, of panels. And one of them took three, one of them took two, and I just took one. And part of the reason I only took one is I had built a system previously and I knew that uh, if I overproduce, I don't get paid for it. That's just the way that it works here. If I've produced more wattage at the end of the month than I consumed, I just lose it. So I would rather build a system that's a bit smaller than going overboard. So the panels I got were up solar and the model number was UP-M280P. So they're 280 watt panels. And like I said, I got 18 of them. And I got that whole pallet for $1,512. Number two are the inverters. I got Enphase IQ6 Plus inverters to feed these panels. I get 18 of them also and that costs $1,979.85. And if you watched my last solar video, you'll know that I made a mistake, bought an inverter that I wasn't able to use. For all intents and purposes, I'm not including that in the numbers that I'm outlining here. That was really just a mistake on my part. I had to eat that cost. Number three is electrical. And this is gonna seem a bit artificially high, but it's because this was a new build. And for tax purposes, I can actually include all of the home run, basically the electrical line that goes from my pole all the way to the home, including the, the panel and breakers and that sort of stuff. So basically I can include all of the electrical from my solar panels all the way out to the pole because it was a new build. So that cost was $2,491.47. And I estimate that over $2,000 of that was the actual electrical service. So we'll circle back to this in the end and I'll do kind of an analysis excluding that. The fourth thing is the flashing and I used quick mount PV for all of my flashing and that's what actually holds the rails to my roof. And the total cost with that was $474.08. And that included the flashing for the rails as well as the flashing for the electrical to go through the roof. Number five is the racking that holds the solar panels in place. And we used all Unirack racking for this. And I have a ballpark on this because my installer actually uh, provided that for me, but it was roughly $600. Number six is the install of everything. So that included the permit, the plans, the electrician, the actual install itself, and the in-phase cables and aggregator. They went ahead and provided that for me. So that came out to $2,269. And I used King Solar here in Wichita, Kansas. Great outfit. If anyone is watching this video that's around here, definitely recommend them. They actually let me help with the install, which then brought the actual cost down. Number seven was the utility fee. And my electrical utility required a $500 fee to go over the plans for this system, make sure that it's uh, abided by all of their rules and regulations, as well as that includes the cost of them coming out to inspect it and then putting in the, the correct meter that will measure 
flow going back into the grid as well as whatever I'm consuming. Number eight is the rental fee and to reduce the amount of time that the installers had to install, therefore bringing down that cost, I went ahead and rented a telehandler and that cost $247.38, probably knocked the job time in half just having that up there. All of this was installed March of 2018 and the total cost ended up coming out to $10,073.78. And at the time, uh, the U.S. government's giving a tax credit of 30%, so that 30% comes out to $3,022.13. My state, which is Kansas, doesn't give us any sort of a credit or anything, as well as my utility doesn't give any sort of a credit. So that was the only credit I got on this system. So if you take the total amount minus the tax rebate, it came out to $7,051.65. I don't think that's too bad, but remember, I also included the electrical for the home run that uh, ties my house to the pole and basically everything in between it. So let's say you aren't doing that and you're looking at this video to figure out how much your system is actually going to cost or just kind of a roundabout. Well, let's subtract about $2,000 from this, which brings the cost down to $8,073.78 and then take into account the 30% tax credit, that comes out to $2,422.13. Subtract the two, and it comes out to an actual cost of $5,651.65. That's pretty reasonable. Not too bad for a five kilowatt system, especially one that was installed. I didn't have a choice in the matter. I had to have it installed by a licensed electrician as well as a licensed contractor. They just wouldn't let me do it. Recently, I bought the Enphase Envoy monitor system so that I could actually monitor my solar system. I've bought it, I have not yet installed it, therefore those costs are not yet in this. But once I do and I get some data, I'm gonna make another video going over how much I actually produce as well as, of course, the cost associated with all of this and then just figure out what is the payback time for it. Is it worth it? I think it is, even not knowing this, it has knocked my utility bill down quite a bit. Realistically, I could have added a couple panels up front and been closer to net zero on things, but I could buy a pallet at a time and it didn't make sense to do two pallets of these things. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have built a system and what it ended up costing, especially after all of the rebates and credits that a person might get. I'm always interested in what other states are doing, so put that in there as well. Make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.